Well, our mental's taxonomy filter is out, and I've covered this before in videos, and there are some shortcomings with it, and Elemental have said they are going to look into it, but let's just have a quick dabble with the taxonomy filter. If you've never used, used it before, you got to make sure in your Elemental settings, go to Features, you've got Flexbox Container activated, make sure you've got the taxonomy filter activated, and of course, you've got to go down and make sure you've got the loop as well. It's a bit weird, the order, right? So make sure you've got Flexbox Container, the loop, and the taxonomy filter and you've also got to make sure you've got the version 3.15 and we are using Elementor Pro. We've got a container over here and I'm going to go and drop in a loop grid like this and by the way I'm not overly fussed about what pulls through on here because we're just doing I'm just showing you the filter. There's nothing fantastical going on here we just have a featured image we have a title we have date could bring in other fields like category or excerpt and rearrange it to basically look however you want that's the beauty about the loop grid especially when you work with container. What we're going to do though is bring over the taxonomy filter. I'm going to type in the word tax and I'm then just going to drop this in over here. Now this is what should happen. When I click this it's now going to allow me to go and pick the loop. Sometimes it does not do this. And this is a bug that I've spotted numerous times. So sometimes it should say, right, do you want to apply this to loop one, loop two, loop three? Imagine you've got a page with three different loop grids, posts, products, and maybe something down here, which is a particular category or you've excluded certain items. You get to say that this filter applies to that. And then you might have another taxonomy filter that applies elsewhere. I have noticed that sometimes once you've added in that taxonomy filter, Literally, it's added. You can see it there. It does not give you that option. So please bear that in mind. If that ever happens to you, what you need to do, go back over to Elementor, go to Tools, and just regenerate your files and data. Now, when you go back to your page, the loop grid is there. So if anyone spots that, and it is annoying, because even though I've now clicked it and other options pop up, I could start working on this, come back to this page, and then all of a sudden these settings are invisible. Literally, it will then say that. And, and you can't even see the options. And you go, well, no, it's already set up. What's going on? If you experience that, please regenerate your CSS. Right, now that we've done that, I'm now going to say that we are going to use the categories for our filter. If you were using products, it would actually show you like a product attribute as well. So if you've gone and set one up for color or size, it will show you that. There is a limitation to this. Please I'm come, come on to that in a moment. Um, you can decide if it's vertical or horizontal. We'll leave it as horizontal and the settings bit. So if you go and show empty items, none of my posts are uncategorized. But if you pick it, it's going to show uncategorized. Why would you want to show that? If you've got any children uh, posts as well, so maybe some of your posts don't just go to uh, the parent ones, they might go down a sub level. You can show, oops, let me just pop that back on. You can show that as well, but be careful with how many parent and child categories you have because it could get really, really crazy busy. And do you want to show the all item or not? Quite frankly, if I go and click lighting, it will filter to lighting. You click it again, it takes it off. Or you might like the comfort of having the all option as well. And you can also limit it. So I might go just show me the first two. Now, if you do have many, many items, and I'm just going to say show me that and show me the, the children as well, and I shrink my container down, and you can now see that we've got a wrap effect going on. By the way, you can go over to your styling for your taxonomy, and there's a lot you can do in terms of border radius, you know, what colors are the normal, the hover and the active as well, and the spacing as well. So I'm just going to make these be quite wide just to show you what I'm going to do here. If we go back over to the filter and the settings, it says here horizontal scroll. So if we go and enable that now to kind of scroll along before you click, which is kind of cool on a mobile, not so much on a desktop. So what are the problems with the filter system? Well, if you were to go and do something like this, and let's say you have two different like filters now. Maybe one is categories, one is tags. Maybe one is category, product category. You might have an attribute for color, an attrib attribute for size, and etc. When you click, say, one of them, it does not affect the other ones. So let's say you've got layout, and down here was blue, red, and white. And with layout, I only have blue. When I click layer, I would want this filter beneath it to kind of now automatically just show me blue or red if that's what's available. It doesn't do that. So you might go and hit green 
and then get no results. And then you've got to undo the green to go back up a step. Bi-directional kind of like, you know, filtering. Elemental are looking into that. But also the styling is a little bit limited. You can, if you want, go in and modify the colors, the spacing, the border radius, the border type. You know, I can start to do all of this fancy stuff like that. So you got some nice buttons showing, etc. You can know you can modify the padding as well. So you can make it look really nice. But I don't have a drop down. I don't have a checkbox. I don't have a radio button. That's all I have. So there are limitations, but Elemental are looking into this, but it is still a neat feature. And if all you care about is just an inbuilt category filtering system, this could massively work for you. I mean, look, I'm just going to pick lighting. It does it on the page. It does it on the page. You're not jumping around anywhere. It can work for you. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch.